Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. Let's go ahead and get the MP Smart Automatic Battery Charger out of the box and take it for a test run. Now where I live, it actually gets to be winter time, Colorado. It snows, it is winter time, and we need to trickle charge. So this also has a trickle charging function to it, which is absolutely awesome. So now before we do take a closer look at the Ampink battery charger, smart battery charger, top link in the description box below will be this exact same model where you guys can read more about it and pick it up yourself after the video is done. Let's begin. First and foremost, right off the bat, you got a nice little handle to it. It's a small device, which is really nice as well. It's not all bulky and beefy compared to my hand. As you can see, I do have large hands, but it is nice that it is a smaller unit. Flipping it around here, you got your power cord here. It's a two pronger if you are wondering. And then let's give you a guesstimation. And your clamper length is a guesstimation about a six foot cable or so from the back of the machine to your connectors here. We got some nice little clamps as we can see ventilation on the right and left. And then the front of the device here, we have a nice big start button here. We have your amps right up here. Two, 10 amp, 25 amp, and auto. Battery type, we can do an AGM, a GEL, and STD. Recondition button here. Engine start button. Pulse, I'm gonna botch the pronunciation of this name. Deso fa fashion. And winter mode, which I need for a couple of my older vehicles out in my tractor shed. Again, we can do a two amp trickle charge. 10 amp quick charge or 25 amp rapid charge, which is awesome. I'm no longer gonna have to need to borrow my dad's big bulky old charger, probably from the 1980s. All right, let's take a closer look at the charger up front. Now, once you do plug it in, please put the clamps on. It does have a backlight, but it went off. Now make sure you do this correctly, but even if you don't, it actually has a reverse polarity feature to it. So let me just go ahead and show you that real quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and do these in the opposite order. And as you can see, it says still, please put the clamps on. So it actually knows that it's not in the right polarity. So let's go ahead and do the right polarity. And then it will go automatically to the last setting you had it on. And so if you need to change the amps, you have your amp button here, 25. We got auto, we have two amp for trickle charging, and again, 10 amp is quick charging and rapid charging right there. And then you have your battery type, you have standard, you have AMG, or you have gel right there as well. Now double check your battery, but most lead acid batteries, especially in this old Toyota 4Runner, is standard STD. In your high-end European cars, it's gonna be AGM, but definitely double check before you do do it. So I'm gonna switch it over to STD standard, acid. I'm in 10 amp. I'm going to go ahead and switch it over to auto because this battery was charged not too long ago. And if you do need to have winter mode on, that is during the winter time for a nice trickle charge, of course, reconditioning, pulse desiccation, and start your engine as well if you need to use that feature there. So everything looks good here. We're on auto. We're on STD battery. Let's go ahead and hit start. Now, as you hit start, it'll go through the stages here. This is an eight stage charger once again, and it will show you what's exactly happening with the battery. As you can see the indicators here as it's going through the features. And so right now we are charging up from 50%. It does have overcharge protection, which is really nice. The charger will turn off once it's senses that the battery is fully charged. Of course, you can use this on many different types of batteries, like we've mentioned, and the trickle charge is very nice, especially for my vehicles out here in the tractor shed that don't get too much use. So as you can see, now we're going through our eight stage charging, and we're gonna get the multimeter on this in just a second to make sure it is charging because I'm actually not hearing, you're hearing some clicks inside the machine, but I'm not hearing very much. There's a slight electric little hum to it, but very little. Not like my dad's old charger that goes wong. So we're gonna get the multimeter on here, make sure we're charging, but everything is looking really good right now. Again, I have two vehicles in my tractor shed, an old 4Runner and an old pickup truck that don't get very much use. So instead of me having to come out here in the dead of winter, and starting these in the snow, which I did a couple weeks ago, you simply grab this, put it on winter mode, 
and have it trickle charge, but of course there's many other functions. Now I don't have to borrow my dad's old school rapid charger. I have one very portable and very small as well. Okay, let's grab the multimeter, make sure we're charging. Now we're out here the next day and I'm right now I'm looking at 5.6 amp. I'm on 10 amp and we're at 14.4 volts, 5.7 amp. And uh, it's gonna be a little tricky with one hand here, but let's see what we can do. And the multimeter is registering 14. 14.37 and 14.4, 6.3 amp, looking absolutely fantastic. So again, now I'm actually hearing the fan just a little bit more today because I think it's not on smart mode as in it was trickle charging when I last left you. But uh, again, it's a couple days later. And now I'm going to be quiet, but a little fan noise coming out of this side here, but very very low a lot different than my dad's old school one that goes like 16.9 <laughs> amp 14.4 again it's doing its thing beautifully 7 amp right now so it's actually coming up on amps as it's going a real small device you can leave that literally in the back of your car 7.2 amp and so we're looking absolutely fantastic trickle charge now the snow just melted but we literally had snow all over the place we do have a storm coming in right now, and this is a great way. Once again, like I said, my two vehicles in my tractor shed, put it on the trickle charge, 7.6 amp now, so it's going up. That's a thumbs up in my book, folks. Once again, top link in the description box below is gonna be this exact same smart battery charger, 7.8 amps, it's coming up. We're looking absolutely fantastic. Winter mode, engine start, I like what I'm seeing. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, that link, top link in the description box below will be this exact same smart battery charger. But just like all my videos, please don't go into debt for anything I I do make a video about if you do have the cash and it does intrigue you please go ahead and purchase on away if you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button on your way out helps the channel also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this as well as more house renovation videos diy projects tech related videos and more my name is chris we'll see you on the next one and now i gotta get inside before this storm comes